Hi everyone, welcome back to Grandpa Mark's Hobbies and a build update number two of our AMT's 1968 Chevy El Camino SS. Well, we got a bunch done. Let me get these guys out the way here. As you can see, I got the first coat on the vinyl roof. I did a semi or a yeah semi gloss black of the engine bay. And I did gloss stripe down the side, like I was going to say. I put the SS black in the back. I'm thinking this is looking pretty darn sharp here. I also, let me get that out the way. Beep, beep. I got the hood painted black. And I repainted the bed and I made it black. And I think with the hood... The roof and the, the bed, that's going to look really sharp. I switched to a number two on my airbrush, and I did all my semi-gloss black, the frame, the door panels, inside, radiator, <laughs> steering wheel, firewall, dashboard, and about 50 other things that are on the table behind me in semi-gloss black and black. The seats got their coat of semi-gloss black on them, and I am going to do a red stripe on the seats on the outer on the outer two, um, I guess, pleats going down. It'll be like black frame then red and then the rest of them will be black in the middle so that's where we are with that it took a while to get all the parts cleaned and primed and ready to go and i got a picture i think here i'll show you of everything on my desk that was primed in this morning when i started so we did that i got the chevy red on the engine here we're good to go there and Everything else is prepped, sanded, and up to snuff. I drilled out the pipes yesterday, and what I did is I just took the largest of my drill bits that I can't find right now. Jeez, I just had them. But I took the largest bit I had, drilled it in about an eighth of an inch or sixteenth of an inch, and then I took my rasp from my Dremel kit, and I widened it out to thin that out as much as I had the guts to do without blowing out a side. So we did both of those pipes and got the belt fixed. It's good to go. It took a long time just to do the, the uh, mold lines on this thing because the, uh, the plastic on this AMT kit is a lot harder than on most other ones but there we go with the build and if you stick around a bunch of people are asking me what my shop was like i'm going to shut this off i'll go by hand and i'll give you a quick tour of the shop so stick around i'll be right back okay here's my workbench i got the uh, cutting mat it's a uh, 18 by 24 cutting mat that i use and this desk is huge it's an old steel case typewriter desk that was in the house when I first moved in. I got my, all my paints right in front of me, my drill bits, all my glues and stuff, all my paint brushes, my drill press over here. Come over on this side, I got my stand that I put all my little junk in, my TV, a little bit of stash. Over there are some of my favorite builds. And then I got another table over here that just holds a bunch of other stuff so let's swing around here and right around the corner is my airbrush station and then i got another table that i have sitting behind me that i can stack parts on that too but this is it shop and a workbench got my drill press or my drill press my pool table and stuff on that side and an old busted down TV over there. My buddy Scott gave me this one. And man, I'll tell you what, it's a lifesaver. It, it, it's just nice to have the noise going. Um, from lighting, you're going to have to excuse the ceiling tiles because it was 
blistering cold here and I didn't want pipes to freeze. But I got a four footer that I have right there. And then above me, and this is the smartest thing I did. It was like 80 bucks for two of them. That's a two foot by two foot LED panel light that I have up above me. And that, along with that light, and then I have the light over top of the airbrush station, along with all those, I can see no problem down here. So with that, I will let you go. You guys all have a great day.